where we are all gathered together. <laughs> Fingers crossed for a good day. It's a 63 kilometer race, taking us all over the Black Mountains. First is 10 and a half up to Hay Bluff. Then we've got 24 and a half down to the Blorange. Then we've got 19 up to Grinfowl Reservoir. Finally, six and a half to Minnith Troed and a glide from there, a 2.7 kilometer glide from there down well, to the, the campsite. Well, the good news is I'm no longer last. The bad news is we're going uphill. But it's a lovely walk. Hey, Alex. Alex says hi. <laughs> I'm going to stick with Alex in the air today. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we're at the Gospel Pass here, and Mountain Rescue is set up again, not for us I trust, and Will and someone else has decided just to fly this little bit and, and pack up and walk. I'm not sure I won't have gained them any time, but save their legs. Ah, hello, Nicole. Yeah, good, thank you. I will have a little top up, I guess. Thanks. I haven't drunk much, but there's Will just landing. It's quarter past 12. We've got. Uh, We've got the first turn point at Hay Bluff. I'm with Tom and Guy, yeah. and uh, we're just using this hour before it switches on to get to a better, better launch. And then hopefully by one-ish, we'll be able to find a few thermals and start flying properly. Okay, so here with Ruth. Second flight of the day for Ruth and Will. Then we got a guy and Tom. And we got our friendly red kite there showing us how to do it. Bon vol! It's so good to be flying! Oh, this is sweet! Going at 40 kilometers an hour. Instead of six. I hope I can scrape round here. That's better. And round more into wind. Yeah, so I think I'm going to top land here. I don't want to be on the deck in a in a half an hour's time when it starts booming, if it starts booming. There's not much to write home about.
Oh, it's a tight little bugger. All the time we wait here is supposed to be getting better, so I don't think it matters that we're a bit stuck. Well, this is the highest I've been for a while. It's uh, five to three. Eighteen hundred feet. Well, I had to go for it. It's three o'clock. Worst case, land and climb and then take off again. Everyone's piling across now. Looks like we might make it. That's a relief. We need to climb before we can hop onto the next hill. Come on. There's a nice lee side climb here.
Come on, you beauty. Screwed opposite there. Come on, sugar loaf ahead of me there. Let's hope we pick up something over here. across the river. some time. This is going underneath the canal. That's probably why it's a bit wet underfoot. Well, it was a quick landing and pack up. I've probably got, I don't know, an hour max. Oops, bump. Uh, hour to get up to the top of the blowing, hopefully less. It's four o'clock now. So if I can get up and uh, hi, uh, yes, if, if I can get get up and take off at by five-ish, it's all got a half decent chance of uh, getting to someone like Sugar Life. We shall see. In the meantime, 
Voilà. Grand Forest Wharf. Yeah, all okay. Packed up. Walking under the power lines. And there's a footpath out here, pretty sure. Um, so yeah, probably an hour's hike up to Sugarloaf and then lob off again on the other side. I'm not in a walk. Past the Blorange, I'll let someone's just taken off. Might be Ollie, I think. Ha, huh, happy days. Are you farting? Nice. Nice one. <laughs> Hello. You are beautiful. Hello. I am pretty bushed. Not far to go up to Sugarloaf. Then a glide down. Oh. But I should say it is beautiful. But it hasn't been the, the flying day that was promised. Just pretty stable. Still, good fun. Ah, oh, well I've made it to the top of the Sugar Life. There's the trick point. That is a flipping brutal climb. Um, so just get my breath back and then take off and glide down. Land somewhere. Over there. Oh, what a lovely evening. Right, let's go down here to find somewhere to take off. Ha, ah, so I've got Alan. Peter's just arrived. Ollie's just about to arrive. We'll glide down. Yabba dabba doo!
Ah, well, I'm calling it a day here for tonight anyway. Um, I'm absolutely destroyed. I just stopped and sat down just there by, by the tractor wheel. Sat down and it promptly threw up. <laughs> Projectile vomit of just energy drinks and uh, energy drinks and uh, well not energy drinks isotonic drinks and uh, peanuts and stuff and that wet patch you can oops why am I pointing that way that wet patch in the road yep that's it I feel a lot better actually now so that's maybe I should carry on it's been a really tough day it's eight o'clock been going for 11 hours with just a bit of a Bit of a pause at Pandy, waiting for the better conditions that never actually happened. Um, but yeah, I've got um, uh, my son's coming to collect me. Yeah, so I am. Um, I've actually walked on another couple of hundred meters, and there's a sign there, little thing. So this is where I shall be dropped off tomorrow morning. Oh, I'm dead. Well, it's just a little bit past seven. I'm back at the same spot again. Well, it is a beautiful morning. It's a little past seven now, it's probably quarter past. And uh, yeah, I've got a four mile walk just to get back to where I stayed the night. Um, and then about another four miles to get to somewhere I can take off I think but yeah I feel legs don't feel too bad after yesterday's exertions I managed to get a little bit of food down me last night not much I really felt pretty shit um, but I've had some breakfast I've got some more breakfast on the way when I get past the campsite oh it's a beautiful little stream there running down there okay onwards I'm getting close to breakfast lovely river here <laughs> see you later oh nice bin bag <laughs> Right, the mission continues. Here I am at the uh, ooh, Hoy Point one, two, three, I think. It's the damn wall, so I'm right in the middle of it. Um, had been hoping that we'd be able to fly off the top of this, but as you can see, it's quite. Uh, Quite breezy. Yeah, it's quite breezy, so uh, I don't know whether we'll be able to or not. Oh god. I don't want to descend off here, but might have to on foot. Damn. Well I'm at the uh, top of the dragon's back where I walked up yesterday. And just getting ready to launch fly along there the wind's sort of coming that direction so I'll just be tracking along whether I'll be able to get onto the that turn point and then glide down I don't know it might have to land uh, we shall see
getting me across the road anyway. Not sure if I'm going to make it over this hedge. Yeah, looks like I am. No, no, no. So you've got James up there, just trying to take off, but the wind's a bit cross. And I've met up with Ruth, again, who flew a blinder from Wahan Fak and overtook me. Um, so yeah, we're hoping to be able to soar up to the top and then dive around the side and fly back to the campsite. That'll be the plan. Yabba dabba doo! It's nice to fly into the campsite. Whoa! <laughs> Thank you! Everyone who's here. <laughs> Thank fuck for that. Oh, yeah, no, brutal, eh? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, well done James. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe you ran down past me, ran up, <laughs> flew over me, <laughs> sprinted up. Oh, it's crazy.